Today's Science and Spirituality will be presented in Bosnian and English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxese or Vietnamese, Bosnian, Chinese, Croatian, English, French, German, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish and Thai. Po cijelom svijetu piramide označavaju liniju ljudske istorije vijekovima pristajuće kao dragulji duhovnog, intelektualnog i sarađujućeg postignuća. Od Južne Amerike do Kine, od Indije do Blikskog istoka, piramide ostaju nadahnjujuće kao što su zagonetne više hiljada godina nakon njegovog nastanka. Istraživački gledalci, danas u emisiji Nauka i duhovnost, Predstavljamo vam prvi dio trodijelnog intervjua sa bosansko-američkim istraživačem piramida i autorom doktorom Semom Semirom Osmanagićem o bosanskim piramidama. Postoji pet piramida na ovom području. Piramida sunca, piramida mjeseca, piramida zmaja, hram majke zemlje i piramida ljubavi. Doktor Osmanagić, nazvan Indiana Jones iz Bosne posvetio je svoj život istraživanju drevnih civilizacija. Napisao je deset knjiga o davnim naprednim društvima kao što je civilizacija Maja koja je cvjetala u Americi. Ovi tekstovi su objavljeni u Sjedinjenim američkim državama, Turskoj, Hrvatskoj, Estoniji i Bosni i Hercegovini. Dr. Osmanović je osnovao neprofitnu istraživačku organizaciju nazvanu Arheološki park, Bosanska piramida fondacije Sunca, čija je misija da ulakša arheološka iskopavanja na mjestima piramida u dolini oko Visokog. Iskopavanje je započelo u aprilu 2007. godine. Ko je sagradio piramide u Bosni? Šta mi možemo reći o civilizaciji baziranoj na ovom što smo do sad pronašli? Teorija dr. Osmanagića je da su ljudi koji stoji iza ovih građevina bili veoma posebni. In the case of a lot of pyramids in China, the biggest one, we don't know who built them. In the case of Bosnian pyramids, we don't know who built them. We are just learning about their technological process, which was very advanced. We can see the sacral geometry. We can see astronomical knowledge. We can see mathematical knowledge. I think they were very advanced intelligent beings, most probably humans. The difference between us is in some technological level, sometimes in aspects of our mental capabilities. It seems that people before, they will rely more on their self and their mental capabilities. And today we rely on technology, cameras, computers, cranes, automobiles. People in the past had different ways how to build, how to erect, how to transport. And we are just learning about them. And they've created such a ingenious structures like the pyramids. Bušenja koja su provedene na površini pokazuju da je vrh izgrađen od sloja pješćenjaka i kraških blokova. Pyramid of the sun, it looks like Egyptian pyramid. And the top of the pyramid is coating with the concrete blocks. In the case of the moon pyramid, you have terraces. Terraces which consist of sandstone, uh, nicely shaped blocks, and then layers of clay. Then sandstone plates, layers of clay, all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. So we need to figure out the secret of their design and the different materials. Our concrete is actually rather inferior. It lasts 50, 200, 500 years, and that's it. The concrete on the Bosnian pyramid of the sun has been around at least 12,000 years, and it can last another 100,000 years because the properties are much better than our concrete. Complex Bosanskih piramida sadrži mrežu podzemnih tunela nazvanih ravni tuneli koji vode prema piramidi sunca. Kreatori ovog sistemu su kopali kroz sedimentne stijene za koje je udvrđeno da su stare preko 30.000 godina. Istraživanje ovih podzemnih građevina što uključuje i dvorane je počelo od 2005. godine. Zanimljiva je pojava da su na nekim mjestima nakon izgradnje tuneli namjerno zatrpani da se spriječi ulazak. 
When we enter the underground tunnels, um, all the tunnels were kind of filled up with the material and then sealed off with the drywalls. So in order to reach the pyramid, we need to clean at least one road that leads to the pyramid. So we remove the drywall, we remove the fill up material, and we move through the tunnels. And uh, I would say there are two mysteries. First, who built the tunnels, and second, who fill them up and basically, you know, shut them down. Unutar tunela su pronađene rezbarije na megalitima ili ljudskom rukom izgrađenim kamenim blokovima. Međutim, značenje ovih rezbarija još nije potpuno jasno. In a case of our uh, underground tunnels, we are finding those ceramic blocks. On some of them, we can see some carved symbols. I wouldn't say that it was writing, it's not, nothing like alphabet. A lot of arrows and, you know, we can see some symbols like people were communicating to each other and telling them which way to go, because after all, you have underground labyrinth. But if you have some symbols, it means you have some type of literacy. So people were literate, and probably these are the oldest proofs of literacy in Europe. Zanimljiva je flora koja raste po piramidama, a koja nije odgovarajuća za tlo oko piramida. Dr. Osmanagić dalje objašnjava ovaj fenomen. When it comes to climate, we know that the Bosnia is in continental climate with four seasons. A couple of miles, a couple of hundred miles south is Mediterranean, much warmer climate. But now, only on the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, we can see the plants that belong to the warmer Mediterranean climate. On surrounding natural hills, you cannot find that. Why? Well, since the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun has so many inner passageways, tunnels and chambers, during the spring and the summer, the temperature of the surface is higher than on the natural hills, and it helps Mediterranean plants to grow there. Naučnici iz mnogih zemalja, uključujući Rusiju, Hrvatsku i UK, Veliku Britaniju, proveli su testove i zaključili da se energetski snob ili ultrazvučna frekvencija emituje iz vrha bosanske piramide sunca. Procijenjuje se da je snob prečnika od 4,5 metara. In the case of the Bosnian pyramids, we've been doing the pioneering steps in determining the real purpose of the pyramids. We have detected the energy beam coming through the top of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. This right here. This energy beam has a frequency of 28 kilohertz. That's the frequency of the ultrasound, which you cannot hear or see. It's continuous, and it shoots right above us, where we don't know. But we were able to measure it with our instruments. So this phenomenon is here. In today's society, we use ultrasound for the medical purposes. But you always have to have artificial source. It can be mechanical device, electromagnetic device, when you, you know, uh, squeeze the quartz crystal. But it's always artificial source. It seems that some of the pyramids in Bosnia are some type of the energy machine. If that's true, it means that in the distant past, they made this machine. It works even today, after thousands of years. This is a machine that never stops. This was more like science fiction in the past, but we have it here in Bosnia. Another measurements we did was the intensity of the energy beam. What we did, we had a team of the physicists from Zagreb, 10 of them, they came with the instruments and they measured the intensity on the surface of the pyramid. And then they measured it three meters or ten feet higher. It was stronger. They measured another ten feet higher, twenty feet from the bottom of the pyramid, and then it was even stronger. As you move from the center of the pyramid, the energy intensity rises. The 
energy is getting stronger and stronger. It contradicts all our physical laws. It contradicts our technology, which is based on so-called Hertzian technology, saying that closer to the source, the energy is stronger. In our case, you have something opposite. You're moving away from the source. Energy is getting stronger. It means that if you shoot that energy beam, it's getting stronger as it travels through the universe. It means you can reach any point in the universe. You can connect with any planet or solar system. So we are opening a complete new door in this investigation. In January of 2011, SB, which is a group that approaches the study of architecture, geometry and design of the Dolini Bosanskih Pyramid, as well as the development of the knowledge from the anthropological and historical discoveries put in this context, and is made from the scientists from two Italian institutions, the University of Trsta and the Polytechnic from Milan. Oni su proveli test koristeći uređaj koji može pretvoriti ultrazvučne vibracije u čujne zvukove. Ultrazvučne vibracije utvrđene na vrhu piramide sunca karakteristične su kao područje zvuka koje spada u zviždanje. If you have such a powerful energy source and such a powerful focused energy beam with its strength and intensity rising as it moves away from this planet. It's possible to hit any point in the universe. If you can make that energy bridge between two cosmic bodies, then yes, you can transport anything you want. After all, we are only the frequency. Our bodies, they're just the frequency. Our thoughts, they're just the frequency. The stone is the frequency, just different frequencies. And then, the vibration can go through that energy bridge. There are different ways for transportation. For example, you know, when you have opera singer making you know, high C, and if you have a glass in front of him, the glass will break. It means that the sound in this particular case have, you know, the properties very destructive. But imagine, if you change the frequency a little bit, like on your radio, probably the sound will have the power not to destruct, but to move the glass, to lift it, to transport it. It's very possible that people in the past, they had the knowledge how to use different frequencies for different tasks. If it can be proven that you can transport anything, anywhere, then you have the biggest discovery ever. So, you go much beyond our planetary borders. Thank you, Dr. Sam Samir Osmanagic, that you talked to us about the most important discovery in the city of Visoko, and also our thanks to your foundation for help u otkrivanju dijela fascinantnog drevnog arhitektonskog nasljeđa čovečanstva. Detaljnije o doktoru Semu, Samir Osmanagiću i bosanskim piramidama posljetite sljedeće internet stjanice www.samirosmanagić.com www.bosnianpyramidofthesun.com Knjige doktora Osmanagića su dostupne na www.interliber.com Pridružite nam se i sljedećeg ponedeljka uz Nauka i duhovnost za zaključak naše serije intervjua u tri dijela sa doktorom Osmanagićem. Hvala vam cijenjeni gledalci na vašem društvu uz današnji program. Slijedi emisija Riječi mudrosti nakon značajnih novosti. Neka naša planeta uvijek budi ujedinjena u ljubavi. Thank you, esteemed viewers, for your company on today's program. Coming up next is words of wisdom of the noteworthy news. May our planet always be united by love.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash SS.